don't know if it was depression, but I found something that went wrong. Amen? Turn to your neighbor and just welcome them to this children's service. Turn to your neighbor, welcome to this children's service. And we are here to enjoy ourselves in the Lord. Tell your neighbor we are here to enjoy ourselves in the Lord. Anything that is not of God is going to be swept out in the name of Jesus. So welcome this morning. Today is our children's service, the Kimber Children's Service. We usually hold the Kimber Children's Service every school holiday. So we usually have it every April, every month of August, and in December. Just to introduce you to the Kimber Children's Church, we are the people who have been leading you in worship today. We are the ones who have been leading you in worship. You know, we, one of our weapons, one of the weapons of our warfare is praise. You know, Judah used to go first. And they would sing, and they would shout, and they would celebrate and dance in the Lord. You know, and the enemy would, would disappear. Okay? So, one of the things we really emphasize at Children's Church is song. Just rejoicing in God in song, and dance, and worship. We laugh, we shout, we make faces, and all those kinds of things. Right, so we have uh, the dance class who are three to five years old. Dance Mokwapi. Yes, rise up so that we can see you. Thank you, thank you, my friend. So that's our dance class. They are three to five years old. God has been good to us. We celebrate them, and he's adding to our number. Yeah. I, I thought for a minute you would say hallelujah. He did. Say hallelujah. He's adding to our number. Amen. Amen. And after the dance class, we have the lions. They are six to nine years old. Lions, stand up so to see you. Thank you, Mitch. Thank you, Zuriel. Thank you, guys. Sit down. And after the dance, we have the Kizazi Teule. We call him KT. He's 10 to 13 years old. Thank you. So, so those are our Kizazi Teule. Chosen generation. I'm telling you, these guys are the ones who are going to usher the revival, the Amen. entry. Amen. That, that promise has come forward in this altar. Amen. And even as we move as a church, we will not leave our children behind. Amen. The way Moses went before Pharaoh, Pharaoh told him, go, take your old men and go. Moses said, no, and watch. But to do it, we are not leaving them behind. So even as we move forward in the Lord, we will move forward with our children. Amen. We shall not leave them behind. So this month we've had, uh, sorry, last week we had our children's camp. And the theme of our children's camp was spiritual warfare. So if you see the, some of the songs that we've been singing, they have a lot of emphasis on spiritual warfare. Taking territory for the kingdom. And so, you know, we're, in, we've, uh, we're entering into a season of intense spiritual warfare. And even as we warfare ourselves, we need to train our children as well in the weapons of our warfare. So maybe I'd just like to invite Sally to come and share with us what happened during the, the four days of the camp. Carry your Sally. Thank you, Sally. Thank you, Okay, I woke up to a message this morning saying, 
you are leading, I mean, you are giving an overview of the camp. Uh, please include, <laughs> please include the community service. And immediately I went into re re responding and saying that I'm looking you. Can you give me time to just <laughs> acclimatize? Then I, I read it again and, this, and remembered it was not a request. <laughs> Um, when I came into the camp, uh, I was relatively new, uh, and uh, it was my first camp as an adult, uh, attending a children's camp. I attended camps as a as a young child, but I've never attended any adult camp. I mean, any children's camp as an adult. And for me, uh, the theme uh, was just what God was speaking to me uh, during that season, and I felt like they were in line with what God was speaking. So I entered in knowing that this is what. God was uh, saying to us, and I was in the, in the, in the right place and uh, at the, the right time. So the theme was uh, spiritual warfare. Last uh, year, we and last camp we tackled the armor of God, and this time we felt like to follow up on the armor of God, then we need to know, teach our children on spiritual warfare and help them understand how they can fight uh, or any works of the enemy. So the theme came from the book of Second Corinthians, uh, chapter ten, verse four. What does it say? Satan, you want to tell us what it says? Yes. Please stand with courage. Yes? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, can you tell us, Mama? Tell us. Faith. For the weapons of our warfare are not human, but mighty in God for putting down strong men. Yeah. We went around during the four days of camp. Uh, or the, on day one, we talked about uh, what spiritual warfare is. In all the classes, we had the, uh, the three classes, as it has been mentioned. I mean. <coughs> then on day two, we handled uh, how the devil fights us. And on day three, we talked about how, the de how to defeat uh, the devil. So, in general, uh, I think we went around all that we needed to go around uh, uh, in equipping the children on handling spiritual war, how uh, to fight against the wiles of the enemy. Uh, other than that, we had several activities. We had uh, uh, different games. Teacher Nasi introduced us to a new game called um, Pen and Bottle. That was very interesting. Those who do not know about it, Google is your friend, or you can talk to one of the teachers uh, and they'll tell you about it. It was a very interesting game. Yeah, uh, there were also sack games, there, were, there was football for the, the young ones, there, were, there was the playground, and one of them also went around looking for Polly, the one who is familiar with the school. That was, uh, what's her name again? The daughter. Tina, my younger daughter. Ruby. Ruby went around looking for Polly, who wondered who Polly was. But we let her move around with other children looking for Polly. Yeah, um, I was swung, I sat on the swings and they, they moved me around and that was very interesting. Uh, teacher Elijah went through confessions and practiced uh, singing, it was an awesome time, even away from the teaching. And then with the, I'll talk about the food also, the food was nice. Uh, as, as, I, as an adult, the food was nice to me, I don't know about the children. <laughs> so Lana, was the food nice? The food has come? Oh no. <laughs> oh, ah, Jaden says it was nice. <laughs> so the, at least that way, that way we know that we are well fed. So yeah, then we had uh, community service. Community service happened on the last day. We were so disappointed by the older, I uh, mean, the, the other children, the teenagers and the preteens who, who had to come up and turn up. I don't know what happened to the parents. Please, parents, bring your children next time. Community service was very nice. We did a lot of cleaning. A lot, a lot of uh, cutting with shears, cutting of the tree of the fences with shears. Uh, we planted trees, we cleaned the compound. It was a, and the children really had fun. The, the ground was a bit hard, but the boys <laughs> were strong enough to dig the holes. We planted about, how many trees did you? 11 trees, yeah. So we had a, a real fun time. I had an interesting time. Uh, first time as an adult attending a, attending a children's church. And uh, I look to forward to more, more of that. Thank you, parents, for releasing your children to us. And for those who did not bring your children,
first time to the count. And uh, you know, for a long time we've been majority men in the camp. In the, in the uh, Kima Children's Church. So we've now been overtaken by the ladies. So men, the family, the journey, the journey is in. Another thing, you know, this was a camp where we taught our children spiritual warfare. Please, when they go back home, encourage them to engage in warfare. To speak God's word over circumstances, it will happen. And then come back and give us that testimony. We like to hear those testimonies. We've been hearing a lot of testimonies about what children are doing at home. Please, when you see those things happening, let's encourage our children to use the weapons of their warfare. Okay? And give us that testimony because we are ready to see the fruit. Amen? Amen. 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 So I'd like to invite uh, Mishael. Mitch. 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 Oh, Mitch. Okay. Mitch. Sorry. Mitch, God, God is going to welcome our visitors. Okay? Mitch, Mitch. 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 Verse, but 
Pastor George. Just for ease of uh, use. 
and each each book is a workbook. It has it has uh, the notes inside. Um, if your child didn't manage to come to camp and you'd like a workbook, please see it. Uh, you can organize with her how you can get one. She will she will give you more information. That is for uh, doves, uh, the lions, and the cages. So day one was introduction to spiritual warfare. We had what is spiritual warfare, which we define simply as the warfare between the kingdom of light, where God dwells, and the kingdom of darkness, where Satan dwells. And there are two characteristics of the kingdom. The kingdom of light, where God dwells, has life, truth, righteousness, liberty, love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, gentleness, faithfulness, self-control. Uh, the kingdom of darkness, the list is so long. But let me just give you a brief. Death and destruction. Ignorance, deception, error, dishonesty. You know, it's so funny, so funny we are there, that in the kingdom of, of darkness, it starts in English, it starts with D. And everything about the kingdom of darkness is just D. Death, dishonesty, depression, and disgust. That is everything about D. It's just like it has very bad things accompanied. Moving forward, our memory pass for that day was 2 Corinthians 10, verse 3 to 4. For though we walk as human beings, we do not walk as human beings. Uh, for example, Bernard's team yesterday lost. Bernard, it was Bernard's birthday. So the men were discussing, we were analyzing the spiritual connotation of why the team lost. And we thought it is because Bernard did not cut cake for us as a man and did not see he did not, he did not allow the men to sing for him at the birthday and he did not allow the children to wash him with a bucket when he came when he brought wish. But those ones are superstitious thoughts. Anyway. For the weapons of our warfare are not human, but they are mighty in God for the pulling down of strongholds, casting down arguments and every high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of God, bringing every thought into captivity to the obedience of Christ. That is 2 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 3 to 4. Our message for that day was, as Christians, we live in the kingdom of light, and we are targeted by the kingdom of darkness. However, Jesus, through the cross, has given us victory over the devil's power. So, we are victorious, and we must experience it in our day-to-day -day lives. Amen. Amen. Day 2, what is temptation? Anything that leads us to sin, that is what we define. The second thing that Solange mentioned about understanding ourselves, we had to break down to the children how, who, how we have been made by God. God said, let us make man in our image and likeness, spirit, soul, and body, the, th the three spheres. And allow me to read for you what our, our able leaders compiled. Every person is a spirit who has a soul, and lives in a physical body. God gave us physical body so that we can be living beings on earth. And we are not ghosts. Because another name for the Holy Spirit is the Holy Ghost. He is the only ghost who is allowed by God to operate on earth as a ghost. But the rest of us have to be in bodies. Because if I come in spirit form to you, you will run away. Or maybe I will be the one who will run away. Because the light is mighty in the spirit. Uh, our soul is made up of the will, the intellect, the mind, and the emotions. Our bodies consist of every part from the head to the soles of our feet. And how does the devil fight Christians? Through the five senses, as Solange mentioned, he takes advantage of he takes advantage, uh, excuse me for that, of our passions and desires. Therefore, we should be led by the Spirit of God and not to be led by our senses. We should not be led by just what we see, what we taste how we speak, how what we touch, uh, what we smell and what we hear. A memory pass for that day, uh, who, who, we've been talking about temptation, who can, who has a hint and you're not in children's church, or where our memory pass came from? Pass is disqualified from answering this question, same as Christine, same as Billy Cow, same as JD, same as Agi, how can I be disqualified? Lida is disqualified, Maruk is disqualified, uh -huh. As that in the back in elimination method. Jevo is disqualified him. He had already been attacked from here, from the pulpit. And so yeah, for him, for immune, for the immunity. Where is ZP? I think ZP is happy. Do you have an idea? 
We are talking about temptation. There is a memory verse for temptation. Where is Mwalimu? Mwalimu wa Pendi Likesh. 1 Corinthians chapter 10. And no temptation has overtaken you except what is common to mankind. And God is faithful. Repeat to your neighbor. God is faithful. God is faithful. He will not allow. He will not allow. You or me. You or me. To be tempted. To be tempted. Beyond. Beyond. What we can bear. What we can bear. Amen. Amen. And it finishes. <laughs> Yes. You can't, but then